Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. Our rose window above the central shrine portrays eight saints who have great devotion to Mary. This week we take a look at St. Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. His rendition appears in the lower petal. His family name was Francis Pocenti, and his name in religion was Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. He was born in 1838 and died as a young seminarian at the age of 24. Saintly youths are a great joy to the church. Prominent among those of the 19th century is Saint Gabriel, a passionist seminarian. Pope Leo XIII used to call him, quote, the Saint Aloysius of our days, end quote. For a detailed summary of his life, consult the script related to this video. Gabriel abandoned a life of leisure and pleasure to join the Passionists. Mary had a great influence on this decision. He heard her inner voice during a celebration in the cathedral at Spoleto. She said, quote, You know that you are not made for the world. Why then do you still remain in it? Enter soon into some religious order. End quote. His witness to a life committed to gospel values provides an example of inspiration for young seminarians and members of religious communities. He encouraged everyone, especially children and young men, to love Mary. He was fond of saying of her, she is lovable, faithful, constant. She will never let herself be outdone in love, but will ever remain supreme. If you are in danger, she will hasten to free you. If you are troubled, she will console you. If you are sick, she will bring you relief. If you are in need, she will help you. She does not look to see what kind of person you have been. She simply comes to a heart that wants to love her. She comes quickly and opens her merciful heart to you. She will even be on hand to accompany you on the trip to eternity. During his seminary training, at the young age of 23, he was stricken with consumption. His strength rapidly declined, and on February 27, 1862, he died a holy death. Close to death, almost uninterruptedly, he kept repeating the names of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and a certain favorite ejaculation of his, quote, O Mary, my sweetest mother, thou knowest that I love thee and that I belong to thee, end quote. Remarkable miracles occurred at his tomb. Many deaf, dumb, blind, and lame were cured. Pope Leo XIII beatified this young model seminarian on May 31, 1908. The decree of his beatification declares that, quote, the miracles which glorified the beginnings of the church one could behold renewed at his grave, end quote. Pope Benedict XV canonized him a saint on May 13, 1920. We remember Gabriel today as one who deservedly appears among our special Marian saints displayed in our rose window. Our prayer this week beseeches St. Gabriel to intercede for all seminarians and young religious. We pray, dear St. Gabriel, your very name recalls your particular devotion to Christ, the man of sorrows, and to Mary, the afflicted mother. You died young as a passionist religious, but left to us all an example of a life of Christ-like sacrifice. Intercede for our seminarians and young religious who are in desperate need of your patronage, Protect them from the enticements of this world. We ask this through Mary and her Son. 
Amen. Our next reflection will focus on the statue of St. Catherine Laboure, Daughter of Charity, near our central shrine. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.